Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Virendra Nayak, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in MSIET, Gullu Arang of Maths University, Raipur. The subject which we are going to learn today, that is computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing and automation. In this, the part of computer aided drawing that we will be going to study today where by the help of giving commands we will be able to draw the diagrams so the commands being given will be explained to you one by one so first of all an introduction to computer aided drawing Computer aided drawing, which we also call as drafting, because in this package, the uh, editing is also included. And that's why, apart from computer aided drawing only, we are calling it as drafting also, because we can edit the created diagram and we can modify the diagram. And that's why computer aided drawing or drafting is a process of preparing a drawing of an object on the screen of the computer. But it doesn't mean that it will be only created on a screen. We can save it, we can store it, and whenever we require it, we can retrieve it from the memory of the computer and we can reuse it. So, there are various types of drawings required in different fields of engineering and sciences. What uh, especially mechanical engineers are using these drawings more oftenly, these packages more oftenly, but it is useful in various branches of engineering also. So in the field of mechanical engineering, the drawing of machine components and layouts are prepared. Nowadays, if you will uh, see the entire drawing of the object with sub-assemblies, assemblies, parts and with animation that are prepared in the field of mechanical engineering and that can be done by the help of computer-aided drawing softwares. In the field of civil engineering, plans and layouts are prepared. And the advancement in civil engineering is that now which nowadays the architects are being uh, using this advancement that is 3D home. Civil engineers are basically using it for uh, uh, state pro and for the uh, preparation of various plans of bridges, roads, etc. as well as layouts of entire uh, colony. And in other field of engineering also, this is used like in electrical engineering, computer science engineering, etc. Next, the use of CAD process provides enhanced graphics capabilities which allows any designer to. That is what is the speciality of this graphics or CAD process. Whatever thought is coming in your mind, you can convert that thought in form of some diagram. Suppose you think of any product, you can convert the product in some shape and you can create its drawing. That is what considered as conceptualization of idea of designer. Then second is modify the design very easily. Earlier in the manual or uh, older way of uh, preparation, uh, preparing the drawing, the drawing was prepared on drawing sheet by the draftsman. And to again modify the drawing, you require a lot of effort. But nowadays, by doing the editing process, you can modify the design very easily. You can keep the old design also 
and you can keep the new design or new drawing also then apart from that if you want to show normal motions like if you are uh, showing a piston cylinder arrangement so how the piston will move inside the cylinder that type of animation you can do or how the connecting rod will move with respect to crankshaft or with respect to cylinder and how it will convert the linear motion of the piston into rotary motion of the crankshaft that type of animation can be performed then you can make design calculations a very simple example you are creating a uh, diagram you are creating its front view you are creating its top view you are creating its uh, side views once you are suppose you are creating any solid as a di diagram by the help of this cad process then you can find out what will be the volume what will be the six different views what will be the mass if you are knowing the material to be used and if you are knowing the density of the materials then next uh, advantage will be or a speciality will be you can use colors fonts and other aesthetic features like if you want to show different parts with different colors and in text if you want to change the font or if you want to create a aesthetic sense of your diagram that can also be done by the help of this cad packages in modern cad system that is whatever new packages are uh, available nowadays interactive two way computer graphics icg is used what is this interactive two way computer graphics suppose i have created a circle by giving command and i have kept its radius as 5 cm now when i have gone through the idea or when i have gone through the uh, space availability i want to increase its radius so what i will do i will click on the center point of the circle and on the circumference it will show the distance between that two and there only i will i can change the dimension that is it will be showing me 5 cm i can type there in place of 5 i can type 7 in this way i can increase so the system itself is interacted interacting with me and uh, i as a user i am interacting with the system so this is interactive or two way computer graphics the icg denotes a user oriented system in which the computer is employed to create transform and display data in the form of pictures or symbols that is this computer aided drawing packages these are considered as user or designer oriented system in which you are taking the help of computer to create the drawing to transform the drawing that is you can enlarge the drawing decrease the drawing you can create the mirror image and you can display the data that is whatever data you want you can display it either in form of pictures or symbols suppose i want to show the diameter i i can use symbol of phi in place of that then next is the image is constructed out of basic geometric element whatever image i will be creating on the screen that will be created by the help of very simple geometric elements that is by giving the commands of points lines circles arcs etc and by the help of that i will be creating the complete diagram of the object which is there in my mind then next is it can be modified according to the demand of the designer it can be enlarged reduced in size moved to a new location on screen 
rotated and other transformations can also be performed that is it you can modify the drawing which you have created on the screen you can increase its size you can reduce the size if your object is placed in one particular location you can move it to new location on the screen then you can rotate the object you can make other transformations like flip or mirror image so this all can be done by the help of giving commands yeah so that's enough for today thank you